Thank you very much. Um, I want to begin the question and answer session uh, with a question on the subject of the looming threat of war uh, as regards to the Syria situation and the Obama administration's um, accelerated drive towards the explosion of general war uh, with this in this area, in this region. So I'm going to ask uh, Dennis Mason, who, as I said before, is an editor with LPAC TV. Many of our viewers uh, are familiar with him. Uh, I'd like to ask Dennis to come to the podium to ask a question on this subject. So with the Syria situation more particularly, there's been a lot of um, elements around the case of chemical weapons that has been um, hyped up in the media. You've had the Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, come out and say that uh, chemical weapons, the use of them, are going to be the red line. Obama has said this. Um, uh, Rasmussen uh, of NATO also has said this. And this has been wildly propagating throughout the media. Now, at the same time, um, you've had reports that uh, Syria is now arming these chemical weapons. But, you know, with the media being what it is, you've also had conflicting reports about our own carrier groups. So the, 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 where I'm going with this question is, is um, you know, what is your assessment of the Syria situation as a whole in the midst of all these different elements that are, that are on the table? Because at the same time, right, you've had uh, the Senate, uh, they passed a... Uh, they passed, uh, they voted to assess a potential no-fly zone in Syria. This passed overwhelmingly in the Senate. Um, earlier on, you had comments from McCain saying that, well, if we were to have a no-fly zone and shoot down a few Syrian planes, then that might teach them to stay out of, of that area, right? So you have this real um, aggressive attitude stance now coming from the Senate. Um, now, and, and also, one of the Patriot batteries, which is scheduled for deployment into Turkey, is not an anti-missile um, battery, but is particularly an anti-aircraft battery. Um, now, the Russians have been repeatedly alluding to what they've been calling Chekhov's principle, which is that if a gun is to show up in the first act, then by the third act, it'll be fired. And they've been consistently in defense of sovereignty and in defense of international law as to the situation. Um, while President Putin was in was in Turkey recently, he actually signed 12 different economic agreements with Turkey, one of which was a um, uh, to build a nuclear plant. Now, at the same time, NATO is saying we're going to consolidate our ground forces and put them into Turkey. So you have this real collision, um, a real fog of war kind of of um, uh, 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 manifold with the with the media coverage and whatnot. So the question more directly is, what's your assessment of this? You know, what's actually going on here? Okay. Well, first of all, this is a big fraud. I was, uh, had a discussion with our people uh, yesterday on precisely this question. And I questioned the question, who was, had the actual proof of this thing? The whole thing was a fraud. McCain fell for it. Other people fell for it. They, kept, they were babbling about a stupid fraud, which is a complete fraud. You know? And this is all, a, a, in part, a diversion to try to defend the president of the United States, who's a damn liar. Hmm? And uh, also to try to take the heat off Susan Rice, or race, or whatever you want to call her. Hmm? So th there is no truth to this story. But you have had a bunch of damn fools in the Senate and elsewhere of the United States and in the international press talking about something for which there is no evidence. And you've got Hillary Clinton take, taken in by the same swindle, babbling about this nonsense, which he has no evidence of this thing. None. Besides, the other part about the thing is that the idea of, do, of the, the, uh, Iraq, that uh, Syria would do that is nonsense because they would never do that. Why? Because it's the most highly impractical and most dangerous thing to do. So that the, since the uh, Syrians are not stupid, they wouldn't do it. But only stupid Americans and Brits and other people are crazy enough to believe what is nothing but a rumor which has no confirmation ever uttered by anyone known to us. 
So the thing is a complete fraud, but it's typical of the kind of government we have now. And the greatest danger, as that demonstrates to the American people, is their own government.